I'm going to show you a, a sample search. First, I'm going to connect to the database from my LibGuide. It'll always be under the Find Journal Articles tab. And then I can connect to the database right here under Major Databases. So using my example of bullying with homosexual students, first concept is bullying. Next concept is homosexuality. I'm going to limit my results to scholarly peer-reviewed. And then I'm going to click search. Notice I have 67 results. The articles of these 67 results date from 1986 to 2011. The first thing I'd like to do is scroll down to my subject filters, open up the subject major heading, and start limiting the 67 results and pulling out only the ones dealing with bullying, or at least having a major focus of bullying. By clicking on this, again, I will pull out all of the articles in my list dealing with this topic as a major heading. And you can continue to do this using subject filters, or if you have a list with a number of articles that you feel comfortable in that you could sit down and look through, start scanning the list, I suggest doing that. Some of the things that I'm looking for are, are there any trends in the titles of these articles? If you look below the title of every article, you'll see that each article has been tagged with some subject terms. Looking at these terms will let you know what is being discussed within the article. Another option, you can click on the magnifying glass and you'll pull up a quick summary of the article. You'll see all the publication information as well as the abstract. The abstract will tell you what's being studied, who is being studied, the methodology, and the conclusions of the research. As you locate articles that look useful to you, you can add them to your folder by clicking on the Add to Folder button. And when you find an article that looks like something that will be very valuable to you in your research, again, make sure it's added to your folder. And then there are a couple tools that you can use. By clicking on the title of the article, you'll come to the Articles page. And here's a couple options. You'll see the entire abstract. You'll also be able to review those subject terms that we saw on the previous page. Other useful tools over here, we have a Cited References and Time Cited. By clicking on Cited References, we'll look at a list of articles that these researchers used to complete this research article. I can scan the articles that um, these researchers used. If things look useful, I'll add them to my folder. I'm going to go back to this particular article. And I want you to remember to also use the Find Similar Results button. By clicking on Find Similar Results, I'm telling the database that this is an ideal article and that I want more article articles like it. I now have a new list of search results. You'll see there's 2,000 articles in this list. However, this is, list is now sorted by relevance. Number one was my ideal article. This was the article I used when I clicked on Find Similar Results. And you can see that the database did a rather good job of um, pulling together similar articles. I was mentioned earlier, I was mentioning earlier about the looking for trends. Um, I'm noticing right here back to back there's two articles that were published um, in January of 2012 and then a month earlier in December 2011 dealing with cyberbullying. So I need to keep that on my radar and see is this a topic that I might want to include in my research on bullying. And then as you continue to locate articles, you'll rinse and repeat using the Find Similar Results. And as you'll notice, this article does not have a Cited References option. Sometimes that's going to happen. But you should always get a Find Similar Results link within um, the PsycInfo or any EBSCOhost database.